episode of Let It Be Sustainable. I'm Frank, and today's update is about the Dahlia seedlings and how they're progressing. Uh, so let's get to it. Let's just let's show you what they look like. Well, here they are. My front row. We have a Caitlin Joy seedling, and it hasn't done much. And another Caitlin Joy, and a Boom Boom, and. I don't know why they're just stunted. Don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna dig them up, check the tubers, see what's going on, because they're awfully small compared to this batch, which is doing remarkably well and already has buds on them. And they're the same age, same pot size, same soil mixture, same fertilizer. Same everything when I mean, they were in the same little grow bag. For some reason, these are doing better than these. Don't know why. Um, could be genetics. There are some that are extravagantly tall, like that one. And there are some that have been ravaged by insects. I'm not spraying. I'm not. I, I want to see which uh, these dahlias do better um, in a situation where they don't use chemicals. And this one looks like it's on the menu for something. It's really bad. Whereas the other ones, same thing, same treatment. Uh, they're not touched. So I don't know what makes this one so appetizing and this one not so appetizing. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, these are the Ray-Ban Royale seedlings. They're doing okay, except for this one. See? This is good. This is good. That's good. But that one doesn't seem doing too well. This one is following suit. So, I don't know. These two on the ends don't know what's going on. But these three... Great. It doesn't mean because you have um, seedlings that have sprouted and are growing, they're gonna that they're gonna make it. They they're gonna fizz out. Some of them are just just gonna die right out. Maybe they're not disease resistant. Maybe uh, they just don't like the soil conditions. Maybe they're just a weak strain. I don't know. Uh, but the others. Look at the, I'll, I'll show you the ones on the other side. <clears throat> These I've had to stake because they're getting so tall and so heavy that I had to stake them. Uh, this one just up and disappeared. It's gone. This was a seedling from buttercream, so that's gone. Uh, apple blossom doing well this is another buttercream same one as the one that was in here a seedling and that one disappeared but this one remarkably is nice and tall and straight and is not staked so you can see this one is staked this one is not this one's straight up and it already is starting to form buds so we'll see what this one turns out to be like more like uh, Apple Blossom or Caitlin's Joy or the Buttercream one. We'll see. Hopefully it has more petal count than the parents. We'll see. And these are taller, like I said. And another nice tall one. And another nice tall one because I had to stake them. They are really tall. There's another tall one here. See how tall this one is compared to the ones behind it. So these are the seedlings. They're doing okay. Um, I will continue to update you on how they're doing. I can't wait for the first ones to bloom. I'm excited about that. And we'll keep evaluating them on how they continue to do. Again, I am not using 
any chemi chemicals as far as pest control because this year I want to know what seedlings do well in this environment because I don't want to be able to um, sell off a tuber to a clientele and then have them ravaged and have them continually spray to have this particular dahlia grow in their garden. That's a waste of time and a waste of money. If it can take a little insect damage and still bloom beautifully, that you can just do a minor spraying, okay, then you know what? That's something that I can consider um, moving on to the next level. But like this one, this this one, my God, it's it's been ravaged. And I don't know why this this is one is so particularly tasty to whatever is causing all that damage. Meanwhile, the one next to it has some, but it is not as devastating as that. And then this one is hardly touched. I mean, it does have some insect damage, but apparently they didn't like it. And um, they're both apple blossom seedlings and I also believe this is an apple blossom seed. Let's 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 compare this way. Hold on. Let's make sure. No, this one is a seedling from Forge Flower Farm. Okay, so this is an apple blossom that's being devoured. And this is an apple blossom. And this is an apple blossom. So this apple blossom here doesn't have as much damage as the one in the first line. So you can you can see the damage here. This has minor damage. This has hardly any. Uh, so you know, goes to show you these are these are siblings from the same seed pod, same seed parent. But you can tell the difference as far as insect damage. So, something to consider. Otherwise, I'm really happy on how they're turning out. These little ones, I don't know, I think I'm just going to check their tubers. Uh, maybe they're rotting. I, I, I don't know what's going on. And then something, something different did show up. Um, let's go over here. This is, this is a seedling from Mystic Sparkler, and it's variegated. I've never seen variegation on a dahlia before. This one's very spindly, so I'm also going to dig it up and uh, find out what's going on with the tuber. I may just uh, plant it in a deeper pot because I'm curious to see if this variegation will continue. I don't think it's disease because it's too, it's not random enough to be a disease or a sunburn. So, I don't know, tell me what you think. I'm just going to dig it up, put it in a deeper pot, and I'm going to watch this one a little bit more closely. Now, my uh -um, stock plants from the breeding program for the dahlias are coming up nicely they're doing their thing they already started to have buds so I will be pollinating dahlias very soon for next year's seedlings so I'll update you guys on that because I'm almost done with the hand pollination of the roses which you saw me do a video last week on how I do that and I can't stress the importance of labeling your crosses you got to make sure because if not you're gonna you're gonna forget and you won't know what you crossed you know this one is charisma that's the mother and it was pollinated by fragrant plum so we'll see what that turns out to be in a couple of months if it has a nice hip to collect with seeds um the roses are doing okay i'll do another video on them shortly and update you on that and but my dahlias are coming up the ones that I've had in storage I still got to put them in nice little rows so that I can continue my cross-pollination as far as dahlias 
the seedlings are still growing and we're going to still evaluate them and that's basically it for this uh video so if you have any comments questions ask me away and i will get back to you and let me know how i'm doing i'll catch you on the next one bye